Hey peeps, what's going on? It's Josh. And I recorded this note from the universe before and then something happened with my phone and it was like hashtag nah. So I'm going to re-record it because I feel that it is worth repeating. It's real simple. This note from the universe is from April 20th. And I know this is way back there, but I have some that um, I want to catch up on, so I might do a couple of quick videos and just talk about them. Just because if you're not getting these notes in your inbox, or you get them and maybe you don't really look at them, or maybe you look at them but you don't really know how you feel about them, maybe one thing that I say might help you, because making these videos helps me, and I guess I like to think that it's helping someone else too. So... Uh, the note for that day goes a little something like this. Always keep in mind, peeps, that no matter what has happened, you did the very best you could, and so did those who may have let you down. Great love, the universe. And then it goes on to say, peeps, no wonder we're so crazy about you. Um, this really applies to my life because... And, well, okay, to be honest, I feel like this applies to everyone's life because we've all been wronged by others. But I feel like it applies in another way that maybe you might not think of because how about the times that you let yourself down? How about the times where you're hardest on yourself and hardest on others and, and there's just a whole lot of pressure when it comes to, I don't know, when it comes to like thinking about life and, and, and how you're doing and, and what's happening and all of those things because there are some people, and I am one of them sometimes when I can manage it, that believe that um, when something bad happens that there's a reason. It's not for nothing that you struggle or go through bad things. Um, essentially, letting go of, you fucked me over, and now I'm mad at you, and I resent it, when you can actually, much like happiness can be a choice, letting go of that can be a choice. Because there's a certain amount of ego in saying that you feel like somebody could do better. There just is. And it's not a comfortable thing, but it, it there there's ego there. Because who am I to say that you could have done better? Who am I to say... And, and furthermore, is it really fair to look at yourself and to be like, I could do better, and to be harsh and, 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 and hard on yourself when you could choose love instead? Um, you may not, okay, so if somebody screws you over, you may not choose to turn around and be openly loving to that person. You may choose to say, I don't want to interact with this person. But there's a certain power in saying, you know what, you did what you did, you did your best, I guess, and I'm not going to carry on holding this baggage of feeling resentful because I feel like I've been wronged. For me particularly, um, I'm not in communication with my grandmother. She was incredibly abusive. I don't even know if she's alive at this point. For years, I thought, if I ever see her again, I, I, I don't want to even think of what I would say to her because, ugh. And I'm getting to the point where, yes, I look back and I know that what she did was wrong. Because I feel like that's important as I go into fatherhood. That I know where mistakes were in my past so that I don't replicate them. Not replicate, wrong word, repeat them. Um, I don't want to repeat things. And I feel like when people don't consider their past when they go into parenthood... Um, they're doomed to repeat it. And I don't want that to happen. So what I want is for my kids to have it better than I did. And not in a resentful like, Oh, you kids are so spoiled. You have it better than me. 
and I had to walk up the hill both ways and ten feet of snow with cardboard shoes and I, that's not what I mean. I mean, I mean, there, there's, okay. You can forgive the past. You can forgive a person. You can forgive yourself and still not forget. Because you can carry the knowledge that things weren't ideal. But you can also carry the knowledge that maybe things happened the way that they did for a reason. Or maybe there were benefits to what happened in some way, even though it might have been completely effed up. So it doesn't poison you. Uh, there's a there's a saying that um, if you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. And being in the now is what brings you to peace. Knowing what I know now, I look back at my childhood and I think, she was mentally ill and I learned from that and I know that I'm not so I trust myself to do the best that I can and if I can look at that situation and just me I'm not like well if I can give, forgive my grandmother then you guys could do this too I'm not doing that if I can look at my grandmother and I can have that attitude, like, there's not even any hatred in my heart for her anymore. I just don't care. And it's not that my brain isn't like, okay, well, yeah, that was still wrong, but, like, I don't have to feel all butthurt over it. I can just live my life and be happy and be good and be the best that I can be in any given moment. And be okay with that. And and forgive myself for my failures. And celebrate my success. And, and keep myself in this moment as much as possible. Because that's what's going to bring out the best in me. And I know it sounds hokey. But I really believe that if I can look at my grandmother that way. Then I can look at anyone that way. And say you know what you're obviously doing the best that you can. Even if it doesn't seem like it to me. Because I don't get to be so egotistical to tell you what you should be doing. What an ass I would be if I looked at everyone around me and said that. And why is it okay for me not to be an ass to other people. But it's okay for me to be an ass to myself. It's not. So this note hit home with me. And I want to work on trying to stay in this moment. And do the best that I can and trust that everyone else is doing that as well. It's very hard for me to trust people. Um, and when I do trust people, I have this other side of me that's like, okay, but when's the sucker punch coming? So I also want to let go of that because that's living in the future. Waiting for someone to mess up is living in the future and it causes anxiety and the funny thing is I I wasn't an anxious person in my past. I have had periods of depression, periods of anxiety, but as a whole that I wouldn't define myself that way. So if I have been less anxious in the past, it means I can be that now. And not be so stressed and so tense and um, guarded. Kind of like Marvin when we go outside and he sees another dog, he gets all tense. He didn't used to be like that. And I feel like he and I can both return to balance. And that is what we are endeavoring to do, peeps. I want to thank you for spending part of your day with me. Um, you honor me by showing up and, and just hanging out for a little bit. And I send you... All of the positive thoughts. And I send you much love. Peep out.